Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create a multi-language quiz with the short code included in the QuizMaker plugin. So, the new update of the QuizMaker plugin includes a short code using which you will be able to uh, display your quizzes in various languages. It depends on the language your website is. So, for that, note that you will need to use uh, translation plugins, for example, uh, Polylang, WPML, or, or Local Translate, and other translation plugins. So today I've used the Polylang translation plugin and as we can see at the top of our website there is a place where we can switch the language and for example if we choose, choose Russian uh, our uh, quiz will be displayed in Russian so I will have a step-by-step -step tutorial special for you and you can translate your quiz easily with a simple shortcut so as said previously, the, quiz the new update of the QuizMaker plugin has a short code which, uh, by using which we will be able to uh, display our quizzes in various languages. So for finding the short code, uh, all we need to do is to go to the QuizMaker plugin, click on General Settings uh, submenu, then go to the Shortcuts tab, scroll a little bit down, and at the end of the shortcut submenu, uh, you will find the quiz multi-language shortcut. Here we can see the shortcut. Uh, as we can see here, there are special symbols written in the shortcut, which are responsible for two languages here. So as we can see, EN is responsible for English and ES is responsible for Spanish. So please note that uh, you can add your preferred language, but it must be written uh, in the language code. Uh, otherwise, the system will not be able to identify it. So now let's copy the given short code and go to the question submenu where we can create our questions, which then will be displayed in our preferred language. In this case, it will be Russian. So now let's click on the question submenu. And to save our time, I have already created a question and I will show you uh, the example and you will clearly understand what I did there. So here we can see that I have a question and it started with the EN, which is responsible for English. Then I wrote the English version of my question. Then I have, I've added the RU, which is responsible for Russian. And after that, I wrote the uh, Russian translation of the language and I've closed it with this symbol. So that means that uh, you can continue writing any language you wish. So there is no need to write only two languages or three languages. So you can add, for example, ES here and then write the Spanish translation of the question. And it will, in case of choosing um, Spanish, uh, the quiz will be displayed in uh, in Spanish. So I did the same for the answer field as well. I've written the English version then the Russian translation of the world and used the symbols in a proper in in proper way. Uh, but uh, now let's go to the quiz sub menu and see where we can use the shortcut as well. So click on the quizzes sub menu. And here again, to save our time, I have already created an example, so we do not lose any time here. And as we can see in the title submenu, I've also written the uh, name in English and in Russian. You can do the same for the description field, but here I do not have one. And uh, scroll it to be down and I have already added the question as well, but you know that for adding a new uh, question into the quiz you just need to click on the add question button and choose one from your questions menu so that's all uh, here all we need to do is to click on the save and close button and the system will generate a special shortcut for us now we can copy the short code go into any post or page uh, pass the short code into shortcut block then uh, click on the preview button here and we can see that our 
our quiz is in uh, English now. But in case of switching the language of our website, here let's choose Russian. We can see that the language of the quiz uh, is changed as well. So you can see that with the help of the simple steps, we have reached our desired result and our quiz will be displayed in our preferred language within seconds. So also another point that I would highlight I would like to highlight here is that as we can see the button texts are translated as well but please note that they aren't translated with the help of this short code they are being translated with the pomo files and you can learn more about the process by watching our video tutorials made special for you so that's all for today, now you are ready to display your quiz to your audience no matter what language they are speaking.